I met her when she was working at Mr Dawson's. She was the governess and I was the um, maid. And when she got married, she employed me as her lady's maid. I met Helen, well, in the winter of 1852. And what name did she go by when you met her? Her name is Helen Malden. To your knowledge, is that the name she was born with? As far as I'm aware, her father was Captain Malden. Okay, and when you got married, did she take your surname? She did. She became Helen Torboys. And you saw her again recently? Indeed I did. And what name was she going by then? By then she had become Lady Oldley. I believe she had taken the first name Lucy, and I have subsequently found out that she had taken the surname Graham before marrying Sir Michael Audley. Your family disowned you, is that correct? That's true. My father is a man of rather unyielding principles. He disapproved of the marriage and therefore he cut me off completely from the family. As a result of that, you have become impoverished, is that correct? That's true. I attempted to find employment uh, after our honeymoon, but I failed to do so. And the poverty has become unbearable for you. It became a difficulty for me, it became unbearable for my wife. She was extremely miserable, and so I eventually left to seek my fortune in Australia. Who, who did you tell that you were out in the gardens? I told, I believe, my maid, Phoebe. You told her that you were out. And what happened uh, when you were out in the garden? Um, I was just walking, and then I saw someone approaching me. Um, it seemed to be moving rather, rather rapidly. Um, and then I recognised that it was George. As I approached Lady Audley, it became quite apparent she was exactly who I suspected she was, she, her to be, that she was in fact my supposedly dead wife, Helen. No doubt you, you were shocked at this as well, right? Uh, yes. Mr. Tallboys, um, you were angry at her because she had betrayed you and she had faked her death. I was, I suppose, in part angry but simply distressed. Could you describe his demeanour as he was talking to you? He was very aggressive, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I felt rather threatened by his manner. It seemed to me the only honourable course of action was for her to let her supposed husband know that she could not be married to him. He said that he wanted to make an example of me. What did you take that to mean? I presume that he wanted to ruin me leave me penniless. And then what did you do? Um, I grabbed what I thought was a piece of metal and it appeared that it was part of the well. George was leaning against it. Okay. And then in all the confusion he fell. You said in the statement that she was sitting on the edge of the well, is that correct? That's true. And you were standing on the side of the well? I was leaning against the windlass. Then you said in your statement that she arose from her position and she lunged forward at you. Indeed. Yes. I cannot see that she had any other intention than to shove me. So you said in your statement that you observed Lady Audley arguing with, her, arguing with an unknown man in the garden of Audley Court, is this correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And do you now know this man to be George Tallboys? I do. Okay. And what did you observe exactly? I saw them talking heatedly, though I couldn't hear what about. Mm -hmm. And then I looked back down to my sewing, and when I looked back up, he wasn't there. She was walking back towards the house. Okay. And did you witness any physical interaction between the two? No. Okay. And uh, did you tell Lady Audley that, well, about what you witnessed? Yes, I did. Okay. I said that I'd seen her with a man, and then she gave me £20 for my diligence. Okay. And did she say anything else? No. Okay. And did you believe um, Mr. Tallboys to be dead? I didn't know. I tried to run back to the house. He dragged me back towards the well. He said he dragged you towards the well, but this was not in your statement. 
the statement you gave to the police did not mention anything about dragging you towards the well at that point in time. So would you like to change your statement at this point? Perhaps on reflection. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what did you do next, immediately after he fell into the well? I looked inside to see if I could see him. How long did you look inside? I must have been there about 10 or 15 minutes just waiting to see, because I hoped that perhaps I could still save him. This is an inconsistency with your statement, because in the statement you said that you hurried away as soon as possible, and also this is corroborated by the fact that the witness Phoebe Marks saw you and she said that a few moments later she looked down and looked back up and you were rushing away. So this means that you could not have actually been waking around and looking to see if he was alive. He actually contended you made no effort, you didn't call to him, is this correct? No, I called to him. Mm. So he didn't hear it, Phoebe didn't see it and she only looked down for a moment. Can I just confirm that Lady Audley returned with you to the inn that night? Yes. And why did she do so? I went to her to ask for money to pay the bailiff. Okay. She'd helped me out before, and she insisted that she come with me. Has she ever insisted on making your payments for you in person? No. No, and this was the first time? Yes. Okay. I was worried that her husband would follow me upstairs and threaten me. Had he done things like that before? He has to Phoebe, he's been aggressive to her, and he has been rude to me in front of people, and I thought it possibly wasn't long before he started to be violent. What did you use to light your way? A candle, Phoebe okay. gave me a candle. Okay, uh, did you have that candle on your return? Uh, no, I did not. No, what happened to it? I extinguished it. It seemed to me the most likely place that the fire started was in an upstairs bedroom, namely that belonging to the landlady and landlord of the castle inn. Yes, and um, what did you suspect to be the source of this fire? It seemed very likely that it was a candle left possibly too close to the curtains in the upstairs bedroom. Right. Did you receive a missive from Mr. Robert to deliver to Lady Audley? Yes, I did. Okay, did you successfully deliver it? Yes. Did you read the contents of that note? No, I didn't. And uh, can you please inform the jury about how Lady Audley reacted to that? She was angry, and then she threw the letter into the fire and burnt it. She uh, threatened that if I did anything to undermine her position as my uncle's wife, that she would either have me cast into a madhouse, saying that all that I had accused her of was clearly uh, figment of my imagination, or indeed that uh, she would be driven so far as to kill me if necessary.